Hello, good evening, good afternoon, welcome. <laughs> Ladies and gents, welcome back to a Lucy Davis Live. How are you? Where are you around the world? I hope you are all doing absolutely fabulous on this Monday, the 25th of March. Happy full moon, happy eclipse. <laughs> We got it all going on right now, ladies and gents. We literally have it all going on right now. And it has been a minute since we have been live on this platform together. So I'm just going to take a few minutes. Hello, sweetheart. I hope you're well. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Arita. Hi, Veronica. Hey, Jen. Hi, Angel. Hi, Jackie. Hey, Lizzie. So good to see you guys on here. Thank you very much for joining. If you are joining us on Facebook, I'm Facebook. <laughs> Oh God, we can see the way today is going to go. Oh my goodness gracious me. If you, are, if you are on Facebook, if you are hanging out there and you can hear me and see me, please do comment and let me know that you can hear and sit here. Oh bloody hell. So shouldn't be doing this today, should I? <laughs> Thank you, Nikki, for let us, letting us know. Oh my God, I literally cannot speak. My mind is working quicker than my mouth right now, which is really not good. Um, it is so good to have you here as well, Veronica. How are we? I hope you are good. I hope things are going well for you. Um, thank you for confirming you can hear me okay on Facebook. We always have a little bit of a, a fun time with face aches. So um, yes, I have had an amazing time this weekend. Thank you so much, Charlie. Um, I'm going to go into a little bit about that in a minute. But it has been a minute. Oh, hi, Hayley Wells. Hi, Joe. Hope you're well. Hope you guys are gorgeous as ever. Oh, my God. It's so nice to um, be able to see you guys and speak to you guys and chat to you guys and just hang out with you guys because it has been a wild, wild time for myself um, and loads of people who hang out and hang, you know, that, that follow me. So um, just in case you didn't hear, not this weekend just gone, but the weekend before we did Soul School 4. Soul School 4 was absolutely magic and it's really interesting i had a beautiful uh, chat even clapped on earth. it's with me today i had a beautiful chat with one of my clients earlier today and she was like oh i really wanted to be there and you know i'm really trying not to focus on how blooming amazing it was and and i just you know i just said to her like the next one you'll be there don't worry about it you know it was a long flight there was things that stopped you like just in, immersed in the moment but I want to give you guys a little bit of a heads up on soul school so last week not last yeah last weekend um we had the most magical time oh Veronica seriously I've been like this all weekend I have just been my brain is working so quickly my mouth physically cannot keep up at the moment um, and it's and it's literally been since soul school that this has been happening but I kind of grounded back into my body a little bit and then this weekend because of the work that I've done and because of the energies that I've been in and because you know I've I've just been literally immersed in um, love and in gold and in just beautiful, oh, just beauty, just the beauty of Gaia um, is where I've been this weekend. And I, I might talk about it a little bit tonight on Conscious Conversations, but I'm not too sure uh, because I've got so much other things to talk to you guys about as well. So um, yeah, Bristol Soul School was very, very powerful. Hi guys, as you're jumping on, lovely to see you. Thanks for being here. Um, it was a very powerful weekend all in all. The shifts, in fact, let me just skip all of this. I have the footage. I have the photos. Now, the footage is un believable and I've hardly watched any of it. I've probably watched 15, 20 minutes of it. Oh my goodness, it is unbelievable. The photos, I've only seen about 300 of 3,144, no shit. I mean, what a number. You, you guys know my granddad's, uh, all of his numbers are 4-4, four, four, so it's very interesting that the 3144 four came up. Um, so if you came to Soul School and if you are in the private group, obviously only people that have been to Soul School can actually come to, um, you know, they, they, they can actually go into the Facebook group. Now, if you are in there, please know that we're gonna start sharing stuff um, as soon as I basically give the nod, yeah, I know Emma, it's hilarious, right? Three, one, four, four. I mean, it had to have one, four, four in it, right? You know, like oh, how many people were there? How many people, how many people are doing this stuff? It's just wild that that number is like imprinting the work of everything that I'm doing. So it's just so incredibly beautiful. Um, we are going to start sharing the, the photos, but 
for those of you that came to Soul School 4, and even any of you that didn't come to Soul School 4, but are in the Soul School group because you've been to a previous one, I am opening up a private Zoom with you guys at some point in the next week. I'm just going to put it out that long because I've got um, healing hangs this week. I've got other things that I've got on this week, but I'm going to attempt to do it this week. And I am going to show you the first clips that are available for you guys to be able to watch. Oh my goodness gracious me, I sobbed when I witnessed it, like I sobbed. So we're not gonna share any photos until I have shared that video and we're gonna do it in a private group, uh, not in a private group, what am I talking about? We're gonna do it on a private Zoom um, and then I will do my best to get the video into the Facebook group. It's quite big though, so it might not upload. So I am gonna be doing that, fingers crossed by the end of this week, but just give me a week. You know, if you guys can just give me a week then. Um, and then from there, what we will be doing is we will be sharing the photos. The photos are phenomenal. Um, I've shared a couple of them already, like literally only just like a couple of me or whatever. Um, I've shared a couple with my team. So you might have seen them posting it, but literally we, we've shared nothing so far. Like I say, there's 3,144. We're probably not going to share all of those pictures. Otherwise, we'll be looking at them until Christmas next year. Um but we are going to start, we've got about 300 that are musts, they have to go out um, and we will just whittle down the rest and see what else is in there. What I really am aiming to do is make it, make sure that every single one of you that was there has a photo shared of you. Um, there are some very powerful ones. There is some very powerful footage. There is, you know, it is just absolutely amazing what we are creating now. Soul School is my baby. For those of you that don't know, Soul School is basically what I channeled back in 2018. And um, basically I was shown that I was gonna set up five healing centers around the world and there was gonna be a safe space for consciousness um, at these places. So as they've evolved, they have been called Soul School. And a lot of people say to me, yeah, but school, Lucy, like there's a bad connotation to the word school. And I said, no, no, we take that back. Like, it's such a beautiful thing to be able to change the language of something and make it into something very special. And Soul School is a beautiful, safe space for consciousness. And although I say that it's not a healing event, my goodness gracious me, does some healing take place at these events? It's unbelievable. We've had people walk in on crutches and leave without them. We've had people with physical pain all over their body, never experienced it again after they've gone. So it's down to the person, it's down to the soul as to what they are willing to allow to come into fruition so that they can obviously um, step through the journey that their soul has intended. Wild soul. So yes, I'm going to be sharing that. Um, be prepared to cry. So any of you that come to that call, please bring tissues. Please bring water because do, do be prepared to um, to cry a lot because I've cried w witnessing it. Um, Rick, who's been helping with it, he's been crying at it. So it is just unfreaking believable. And a lot of people have been reaching out to me actually saying, Lucy, you know, I followed you for a long time, but what do you actually do? So Soul School is my baby. Soul School is my passion project. This is where I run seminars to be basically create the abundance to um, create the physical soul schools and the physical healing center. So that's my passion project. Um, but for those of you that don't know, I am actually a, a coach. I help people um, very much step into their awakening journey, their spiritual journey with self-love. I've got an amazing program called Self Love Club. I've got an amazing, um, I've got lots of other amazing programs online as well that you can do. Um, obviously I do one-to-one -one coaching stuff like that. But I'm actually, I was actually really shocked the number of people that keep messaging me saying, Lucy, what do you do? Like, what do you actually do? Obviously, you guys know I'm an author. You guys know I'm a public speaker. I do. I travel around the world and I realign energies. Like, literally, I do loads of stuff. Um, but to say, Lucy, like, what's your job title? I don't know. I don't know. Probably Wild Soul. I think that's that's better for me to just be called Wild Soul. Or as a lot of people call me, the Wanderess, uh, because I travel and I work and I travel and I work and I travel and I work. Um, so, yes, that is basically, in a nutshell, what I do. Now, for some of you out there, if you're thinking, wow, I would like to go to Soul School, worry not, my friends. Um, there is an option at the moment on my website for um, Soul School Online. Now, Soul School Online, it was recorded in November at the, oh, hi, Marilyn, 
at the November event. Um, and it, it was just a one day event. And we basically got it on my website at the moment for £44. However, on the 1st of April, that is going up. So if you would like to watch, if you would like to, and there's processes you have to go through, by the way, if you would like to immerse in Soul School 3, you can go over to my website, you can buy it and it's an online program and you can watch it and it's yours forever. If you don't get 30 days to watch it, then we take it away. None of that stuff. Literally, it's yours forever. So if that like speaks to your soul, um, please, please, please do check that out. Now, for those of you that are like, oh yeah, but these are in England, blah, blah, blah. First and foremost, we had, I think we had about seven to 12 different countries in the room. America was there. Like, honestly, there is no excuse for these things. Um, but also, I'm going to be running Soul School in Australia on the 7th of July, and I'm aiming to run a Soul School in America in September of this year. All being well, God willing, that is what's going to take place. So for those of you that feel it's going to be convenient and not on your, on your doorstep, it's probably not. Uh, but like I say, we had people from America fly over for Soul School. We've had people from Denmark, from Spain, from Dubai, from like literally all over the world um, fly in for Soul School. So please, please, please do not use the fact that it's not on your doorstep as an excuse because it is just, you know, this thing that happens, like there's darkness out there that tries to stop us from really getting connected to our passions, our purpose, and what we incarnated for. Um, now, I shared this with um, my private Soul School group the other day, and I'm going to share it here now, but I have actually planned out Soul School to the end of the year. Shock horror for any of you that used to know me as a project manager, you'll be like, what do you mean shock horror? You were the, you know, you know you're an amazing project manager. I do not I plan anything these days I'm literally like all right we're doing it here we're doing it on that date like whoever's going to be there is going to be there but I've actually planned out to the end of the year so you'll be pleased to know we know exactly where we're going exactly the locations um, and all of that good stuff so it is super super exciting Lucy Davis project manager is back in the building <laughs> I am working my tush off to make sure that you guys can plan things and book arrangements and and literally just get on top of stuff. So um, please do know um, that is possible. Uh, Georgie, when I come into lots of money, I'm going to donate it to Lucy's Healing Centre. Thank you so much, Georgie. That's so sweet of you. I'm so grateful to you. Honestly, and this is the thing, I know because of the mission that I'm on and the purity of the people that are around me and the gorgeous souls, I know when any of us get that abundance, we're all just going to go, right, how do we set this up? Like, how is it going to happen? What do we need to do? And once the blueprint is there, then we can just replicate it around the world. And I know that it's imminent. I actually feel that there is going to be somebody soon that comes in and donates um, to actually build the first one. I do. I really feel it. And I feel it is imminent. I feel it is you know, I, I, I hope I'm not getting excited here and like, you know, my ego is running away with me. Um, but I truly feel that somebody very soon is going to say, you know what, I believe in you so much. I believe in the mission and the vision that you've got so seriously. Here you go. Have the cash to be able to do it. So um, let's keep everything uh, prayed for that. Um, keep our fingers crossed. Um, so that we can go on this journey together. Because imagine, you know, for those of you that haven't been to soul school, just imagine this for a moment, walking in somewhere at 10 o'clock in the morning and then by four o'clock in the afternoon, five o'clock in the afternoon, you've shifted something which was creating a physical issue in your body. Just imagine that. And that's the power of soul school. We see it every single time. Lives change, people heal, people get connected to their their purpose, their passions, you name it, everything. They shift trauma that they've been holding on to their whole lifetimes. Yeah, Jackie, all right. <laughs> Jackie on Facebook, for those of you on YouTube, has put Lucy time. It's true. There is a thing called Lucy time. If you ever come to any of my seminars, we start on time, although Soul School 4 didn't because my team made a call. There was a, a, like 17 people that hadn't turned up by a particular time. So they made a call to push it back to start like 20, 30 minutes later. Lucy doesn't ever start late. I always start on time. If people miss it, they miss it. But the thing is, I never finish on time. 
ever. I don't think I ever have. Um, the venue that we were in was absolutely amazing. I told them that we would be finished about six. We were still going at half past seven, do you get what I mean? So I have to say thank you to the venue who supported us and held held us in their hearts. Um, I'm sure they were all itching to go home on a Saturday, but you know what? It is what it is. We were on Lucy time. Um, and on the Sunday, we had a very, very early start. And again, I thank the venue for um, opening the doors eventually. I was locked out of my own seminar for a short period of time, but you know what it is what it is. So we had to start a little bit later, but not too late, thankfully. Um, yeah, everything everything was really good about that soul school. Everything was really fabulous. And you guys wait till you see the footage. That's all I'm gonna say. You guys are gonna be blown away at what went on in that room. I am still. So a lot of you have been messaging me about my beautiful affirmation cards. I've had them redesigned. Check these bad boys out. They are absolutely stunning. And before Lizzie tells you all off, do remember to hit the uh, thumbs up button and do remember to uh, hit the love heart or the thumb up on Facebook as well. So these are my new affirmation cards and they are absolutely stunning. Uh, I don't know if you guys would be able to guess who the person is that they're modeled on. <gasps> don't know if you know her. <laughs> But basically, um, yeah, Shelley, I, you, you know me, darling. I send healing out as and when I possibly can. Um, you know, I just send it out. So we have these affirmation cards, basically, um, and they're going on the website, fingers crossed, um, this week. You want me to pull one, do you? I'm getting good at that. I'm getting good at that, my love, getting good at that. Oh, there's one. How's that for one? I am happy. The message says, I am happy. I am alive as an amazing human being. I have every reason to be happy. And today I'm going to show the rest of the world all of those reasons. Da, da, da. That's me to a T, right? I am so happy. And I am sharing my happiness and my love and my heart with all of you beautiful beings. So just going back to um, finish up what I was going to say about Soul School. So we are doing Soul School in Australia on the Gold Coast on the 7th of July. Um, on, I'm also doing one in September, but we are going to be doing um, more in the UK as well. We've got Soul School 3 available to purchase um, tickets so you can go back and you can watch it and you can immerse in it and you can feed into it and all of that good stuff. Um, and yeah, just basically Soul School is going to be the thing that takes off in a massive, massive way. Now, I'm not sure if I've shared this anywhere publicly yet. My hands are burning, by the way, so someone's getting healing from me. Um, I'm not sure if I've shared this publicly anywhere yet, and I know I'm a bit excited because I haven't done one of these with you guys for a little while, but um, consciousness shifted off the back of our weekend at Soul School. And what's even more important than that, or at least we've got a reflection, we've, uh, we've actually got a measurement. Um, the first meditation I did at Soul School 4 the Schumann resonance started to peak and it didn't stop peaking. And then we had four timeline shifts on the Sunday during when I was literally shifting, 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 shifting. If you've been, you'll know what I'm talking about. So it's extremely important for me at times to be able to get physical validation and a literal measurement to show that we did create um, the shift that was intended. So yes, we created a consciousness shift. I mean, uh, hello, it's bloody obvious, isn't it? People have changed, men have changed, women have changed. Um, and that's why I, I decided to do this video today called Are You Losing Your Mind? Because people are literally losing their minds right now. Um, you know, people that have their stuff together, people that know better, people, all of this stuff, people are losing their minds right now. And I want to be honest with you, if you are one of those people, I am going to Oh, didn't mean to knock the table. Apologies about that. Um, I'm going to just have a little chat with you in the hope that your soul gets the message that it needs. Because, you know, we are really on sabotage moment at the moment. Um, you know, there are people out there and we're shedding our armor so quickly that people think they're literally losing their minds. It doesn't help because we've had full moon. It doesn't help because we've got lunar eclipse. It doesn't help with all of these energetic um, things. So, we need to be very, very, very conscious. And also, ladies and gents, I want to remind you that if a small group like we're at at Soul School can peak the Schumann resonance and can literally create these timeline hops, then imagine what, you know, I think I've got about 7,000 followers on YouTube at the moment, something like that, 7,500, 8,000, I don't know, somewhere around that number. Imagine 
imagine if all of us got together and we focused on the same thing. Do you think we could bring it in with bells on? Because I do. So I'm actually proposing that I'm going to do a meditation on the 1st of April because um, it's new year after all, right? We're here. We're here to have happy. So for me, it's new year. It's new starts. It's new beginnings. It's get, let's get focused. Let's, let's live in love. Let's live in a space of um, pure happiness. I love the way that I'm saying I'm going to do a meditation. I've got no idea what day of the week it is. Um, I should check that before I make these commitments. Oh, it's a Monday. Ah, that might be, oh no, I can do it in this slot. Next Monday, I can do it in this slot. Perfect. Five o'clock UK time next Monday, we're, we're doing a meditation. <laughs> Why not? Why not? We'll use this slot. That saves me planning to do something next week. So share it with your friends. Share it with as many people as you possibly can. And let's get this show on the road. Let's really, really, I better write that down. Lizzie, can you just remind me, babe, that I'm going to do a meditation next Monday? It's fine. I'm, I'm happy to do that. Um, I've already written it in my diary. That's so weird. How weird is that? In my diary, I'm going to be doing a manifestation meditation with you. <laughs> what? The absolute heck. <laughs> do you love the way that I am just like I scare myself sometimes just so you guys know now I do think it's Easter Monday uh, I believe it's Easter this weekend coming right um so I scare myself sometimes with my witchy woo and stuff like this I I definitely lost my mind but in a good way um so we'll do that next Monday at five o'clock we'll do a beautiful manifestation meditation we'll do a really beautiful and um, happy new year celebration Ooh. Um, so that we can all have a lot of laughs um, and a lot of really, really beautiful moments going forwards. Anyway, as you guys know, I am the self-love club queen. I am the self-love queen, and more to the point, I help people all around the world um, get connected to their awakening journey by learning to love themselves and remembering, you know, the beautiful divinity which is which is housed within each and every one of us. So you know, I, I have to practice what I preach. And this weekend just gone, I took a magical mystery tour in true Wanderess style. I left my home in Spain and went to um, went on a really beautiful journey. Um, I went to some caves. I intended to go to the beach, but the weather wasn't the best. So I went to a cave. Um, I'm a nightmare. I say, yeah, I'm going to go and rest for the weekend. And I did. And I stayed in beautiful places. And I really, really, oh, it was just stunning. But I went to this gorgeous cave, um, which is wild. Um, I wasn't allowed to take any photos in there, so I only got two. <laughs> uh, but like I was hiding behind people and just very slyly taking them because we weren't supposed to take photos in there. But I did take a couple because it was pure magic um, what I was seeing. And so I went to this cave and then I went on to um, this beautiful um, place that actually links to Petra. So it was very, very interesting. I, I truly believe it was man-made because I kept getting an energy of fake, but it was very beautiful and it was very lovely. And what I was able to do was connect the energies from when I was in Petra in Jordan back in or July of last year. Um, and if you've seen the video for that, then whew, is all I'm going to say, hey, that was a powerful one. Um, and yeah, so I was able to do that. Now, like I say, here in Spain, um, First and foremost, I have to practice what I preach, right? If I'm sh sharing with you guys, like the way that you get your awakening journey, the way that your gifts come online, the way that you get connected is by loving yourself and trusting yourself and taking time out when it's required. Like I have to do that also. I cannot just be like a lot of other people that are completely inauthentic. They say one thing and they do another. I have to make sure I take time for myself. So I am... Um, stayed in the my favorite city in Spain. I stayed there on um, Saturday evening. And then when I was driving back from there, um, I actually remembered a place that I went to about 18 months ago. And I just remembered how much I loved it. And as I passed it, I thought, you know what, I'm going to swing on in there and just have a look around. I ended up staying there as well. Um, you know, so it's, I've had a beautiful weekend, very much of connection. But what's really fascinating is, um, they celebrate Palm Sunday over here in a very big way. Like there's massive processions. It's very um, Catholic. There's lots of, you know, religious stuff going on. And I found it really interesting that in the two places where I was, there was this massive religious ceremony taking place. And there was little Lucy that had been dropped into the mix. Um, it was very, very profound. If you're in conscious conversations, you know why that's interesting. Um, 
But yeah, it's been a very profound weekend uh, that I've just had. I feel amazing. I probably don't look as refreshed as I should do, although this this um, lighting and stuff seems to be doing me a favor. So that's all good. Um, but yeah, it has been a magical, magical weekend. And I just want to remind you guys that if you are somebody who is literally like, I really need some help right now, my self-love club program starts again in September. Okay. Normally it starts in June, but I am taking three months off self-love. Um, I've got quite a lot of work that I need to do over the summer for different things. So it's starting in September and it is going to finish in May 2025. So it's going to be a nine month program. It's no longer going to be 12 months. Um, it's going to be a nine month program so that I get some time out each year. I haven't had any time off since I launched this program back in um, 2019 or 2020, whenever it was that I launched it. So, you know, it's been so intense. And it is time for me to literally have um, a bit of time off and, and, you know, create, create, create my life. Um, so I just wanted to say that now, if you are looking for any information, whether it's Soul School, whether it's um, Self Love Club, head over to the description field of this video, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook and you, uh, yeah, on Facebook, and you will be able to find absolutely everything that you need there. There are so many links, links to click. And as soon as the affirmation cards are on the in fact before I just go on there is a launch call on the I I can't remember if it's the first or the second of September off the back of that when people sign up we we start the program immediately so um just so you guys know there's a launch call so you basically sign up for a waiting list um so there's no commitment you don't have to pay for anything you just sign up for the waiting list you come along to the call the program has changed in a big way um, because we need to support the way the world is going. And also we have to support me taking time out because otherwise, um, yeah, you know, I have to be on my A game all of the time. And you know what? I'm really looking forward to some time out over the June, July and August this year. I'm really, really looking forward to it. I've got lots of magical things planned. So um, yeah, I'm really, really excited for that. So that's in the description field. Um, what else did I have to kind of get off my chest? What else do I need to get off my chest? I guess my affirmation cards will let you know when they're on the website. Should be being done at some point this week. But I've actually got my team looking at venues and things like that as a priority. So, um, you know, I have to make priority calls on their time. Likewise, I think for some reason we had to take down the Soul School um, tickets for Australia, but they'll go up. I just need to look at it and go through the process myself so that I know what the issue was and we can get that back out in um, hopefully tomorrow. Um, so we've had a couple of people on YouTube saying it's an amazing program. I can vouch for that. Self Love Club is amazing. I'd highly recommend. That's amazing. Thank you, girls. I really appreciate your comments on that. Um, okay. Time for some honesty my favorite human beings. You definitely deserve to have a few months off, even though we all know you're never off, but the self-love club will still be great as nine months. Yeah, absolutely. I just thought, you know what? Nine months it takes to cook a baby. Let's cook the, uh, you know, let's cook the self-love back into the human race in the same time. You know, let's, let's just do it. So, uh, and it gives me time off, like I say, because there are regular calls and things like that. So how many of you have felt recently that you are losing your mind? Now, I'm not saying that means that you're depressed or you're anxious, but you're just like, what the fuck is going on? A bit like me at the beginning of this video. I'm thinking something and speaking something totally different. I'm, you know, maybe maybe you ha are the person that's been having like emotional breakdowns, emotional sensitivity. You know, you're not feeling comfortable. You're like, ah, right now. Let me know in the chats if that is... Um... Okay, so Danny's like me, definitely. Julia's, yes, what the fuck? Oh. Yep, WTF. <laughs> um, sometimes, yes, my mind is not working properly. Um, yeah, so awesome. So, so you guys resonate with this. Um, the mind is being surrendered. And what's happening right now is because the mind is being sur surrendered, everybody is getting completely out of control. So Candy on Facebook has put, I'm very anxious. Doesn't surprise me right now. It really doesn't surprise me. The mind I'm going to say is, um, you know, a very, 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 uh, it's a program. It is a program. We have, we've been living in programs our whole life. And what's happening right at the moment is the mind is ticking because it's trying to normalize what's going on. The body is physically shifting, like literally physically shifting um, vibrations. So we were vibrating like this before. Now we're like this. 
So although it doesn't look like, like much from this to this, but we're going to be like this at some point. The cells within our body are going to be um, vibrating at that. So we very, very much need to be recognizing that the physical body is changing. So, of course, the mind is attempting to keep up and the mind is not coping. Is it fair to say the mind is not coping? Yeah, I'll talk about that in a sec, Julie, for sure. <clears throat> so we are in a space whereby we are just starting to switch the mind off. You know, we're just turning it off. We're turning it off. If you've been sick since leaving soul school, it's very, it's, it's very likely you're still purging. Remember, you've had a massive energetic shift. You are purging a lot. Um, I have only heard of one person that's been poorly since soul school. Um, but just be very, very, um, you know, just be very aware that it is. Um, Louise, it doesn't surprise me because of what you were holding on to at soul school. You wouldn't let it shift. So it doesn't surprise me that it is going that way for you. Um, and also look at the language. Bad, 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 bad. So just look at the language with that. You know, your, your mind is really, really, really trying to do its best to stay in a low vibration. You know, remember what you put out is what you get. Whatever you are, whatever you are consciously living right now. It's, um, yeah, so Carol has put, I'm anxious and overwhelmed. It doesn't seem to be enough time in the day. The weeks are flying past. It feels bizarre. I think I've said this recently, but I'm going to say it again, just in case you guys weren't there. We now have 16 hours in the day compared to what used to be 24. Just process that for a minute. We are eight hours less. Now, I know that there's nothing telling us that, but we have sped up so much that we are literally having the equivalent of 16 hours in what used to be 24 hours because we are collapsing linear time. Hence, the mind cannot cope. Yeah, of course, Charlie, you know, it, it does feel like 16 hours. I mean, I get that. Sometimes I'm like, I wake up, I get out of bed, and then I'm back in bed. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Like, literally. And then what was really fascinating is yesterday, um, no, I don't believe it will. I, a linear time's going. I don't believe that it's ever going to slow down. If anything, it's going to speed up, which is what's making the vibration, you know, which is what is making the vibration in the body, like, up. So what you've got to remember, the more the cells vibrate, obviously, the more the physical body is under pressure, and then the mind cannot cope. And of course, the mind is like, but I had 24 hours. But now we know, like, although the, the clock still ticks around the amount of time, we just do not have the same time. I go to the gym, and I can do a workout that I used to do way back when, and it takes me two and a half hours now, whereas before it used to take me an hour. Like, it's just freaking weird. Like, in my opinion, eight hours, we've lost eight hours. Wow. That's really interesting. So Martin's put, strangest thing to happen to me since soul school. My partner was speaking to me, but her voice seemed to be distant since, uh, think someone's talking to you in a dream. That's really, really interesting. Really, really, really interesting. Um, Anyway, so this, I'm glad it's making sense to some of you on YouTube. Um, in fact, Nikki's put that it's making sense as well. It does. Like, time is going so quickly. We've been, I've been talking about this for many, many years now. Linear time has to collapse. It's an old matrix that we've been living in. And we're, we're just vibrating higher right now, which is why I cannot say this enough to you guys. Like, I said to you guys for so long, pick up the baton in the way that you speak. Pick up the baton in the way that you think. Well, I can't let go. Oh my God, everything's such a drama. Everything's so bad. Everything's so, like, you wonder why you're living that? Like, look at your language. Look at your thoughts. Look at your actions. You know, like, you have to look at yourself for what you are bringing in. It's so important that we get the memo on this. No, Julia, you're, you're in your head. Like, you are in your head with this. Like, everything is happening. Life, life isn't going to be about an age. Life isn't going to be about a day. Life isn't going to be about a number. Like, we're literally getting rid of the clock. People say to me all the time, there is no way that you are your age, Lucy. Absolutely no way. You're damn right it's, I'm not. 
like yes in human years but i am like probably the same as a 25 year old it's extremely important that we let go of all this old stuff that has been holding us in age isn't going to matter trust me when we're in our light bodies you're not going to know what anything is and that's what's happening right now we are vibrating to a higher consciousness people people talk about um you know consciousness is a state christ consciousness is a state and i truly believe this people are waiting for christ to return it's christ consciousness like literally it's christ consciousness now i know that that will piss off all of the religious people that follow me and all the rest of it but it's the truth christ consciousness is the thing that is helping us to absolutely be in alignment with who we are, what we got sent down here to do. Now this, we were given the nod, it was time on this back at Heaven's Gate. Um, it, that was the switchover point. That was the 22nd of March, 2023. Now about, I don't know, maybe five weeks ago now, I was told very clearly it's go time. And it is go time. Since I did that work in Australia, it is, it's been go time. There's been like, there's no point, there's no point pretending that it's any other time. It was from that moment. This is it. The plug has been pulled. You know, the pin has been pulled out the hand grenade and, and we're ready to go. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but truth is coming out about everything. Truth is coming out in, in the global situation. And this is what is messing with our heads again at the moment, because we're like, hang on a minute. I love this person. I know this person. Why are they being such an ass? hang on a minute, I know this situation, I believe this situation, why am I now being shown facts that actually that's not true? It's extremely important that we are open to there being so many different perspectives, there being so many different plans, there being so many, like you might have thought that somebody was really, really, really mean to you, but actually the truth is when all of the information comes in, you go, oh gosh, now I see it from their perspective. Now I see it. Oh gosh, why did I ignore that person? Why did I tell that person I didn't want to be friends with them? Why did I continue to hang out with that person when they barefaced lied to me? And this is the truth. All the lies are coming to the surface right now. And our mind is not coping. We cannot cope with it because we've put everybody in a box. We've got all of our stories running and we are literally feeling like we're going crazy. Now, one of my absolute besties called me this morning and she was like, oh my God, I have had a hell of a weekend. And I said, why didn't you call me? Because you're having a weekend off. No, 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 no. If you feel that bad, you get on the phone to me and you talk to me. Now, she is an amazing woman, an amazing woman. Got her shit together. She's, she's amazing. She's strong. But what's happening right now is we're surrendering the masculine. Since that day, I got told it's go time in Australia. The masculine energy is being switched and this is why we're now starting to lose it. Because if we live more in our masculine energy, we're like, shit, who am I? What am I? What am I doing? Where am I going? What sort of money? Where am I going to earn? And all of these things. All of these things. And it's about boundaries. It's about sitting in it. It's about feeling it. It's about allowing ourselves to be present. It's so important. Well, great question, Andrew, uh, Angela. I nearly called you Andrea. Oh, clearly, my uh, my eyes and my head aren't working at the same thing. So, a great question Angela has asked on Facebook. How do we cope during this time when our minds can't keep up? The best question ever, so thank you for asking it. The best way to cope is to get out in nature. Breath work you can regulate your whole nervous system by the breath. It's just remembering it. When we are panicking and when we are in anxiety and when we are stressing and straining and putting all this pressure on us, you first and foremost, breathe. Breathe. And I mean, really breathe. I don't mean this like, oh, but Lucy, I breathe all day, every day. I'm talking... That's how we are supposed to breathe. Get out into nature. Go and listen to the birds. Go and kick your shoes off if you are lucky enough to live like a uh, live like a beach. Live near a beach like I am. Kick your shoes off. Go and put your feet in the ocean. Walk on the sand. If you're somewhere else, go and pick up some leaves or go and hug a tree or sit next to a tree or sit on the grass. Allow the sun on your skin. 
allow yourself to be out there in the elements, in the wind, in the rain, in the beautiful, beautiful um, sunshine, you know, just get yourself out there. Allow yourself to be present. Now, the other thing that is, it's absolutely incredible right now is challenge yourself to have the conversation. You all know the conversation I'm talking about that conversation that you've put off, that conversation that you've decided that someone's really, really mean because you were never, ever prepared to have that difficult conversation. Have the conversation. If the person has passed and they're no longer in our lives, let's write the conversation that how it would go. I've had some conversations recently and I am in awe of the way that they have gone, in awe. And I would recommend taking the emotion out of it. Don't go and do it. Don't go and do it when you're emotionally charged. Leave it. Go in with a beautiful heart. And then have the conversations, knowing that you are going to be okay. You are going to be able to still the mind because you're removing parts of the story. Is this making sense for you guys? The only way that we can start to remove the story is by just starting to empty it. I know you're feeling resistance, Angela, because your mind wants you to stay stuck. Your mind is desperate for you not to evolve because if you don't evolve, then the mind still has a purpose. The way that we're going to use the mind going forwards is we're going to create it from our heart space. We're going to send it to the mind and we're going to manifest from the mind. That's what's going to take place. Now, we all know manifestation is happening at a rate of knots right now. And hence, why I'm going to do a manifestation um, meditation on the 1st of April. And I swear to you guys, I'm going to take you on a journey like no other. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I never do know what I'm going to talk about. But let me be straight with you. Every single person that ever does my meditations, they go, shit, Lucy, like, have you ever heard how powerful you are? I don't know. All I do is I sit there, I channel and I bring it in. So if you have not uh, been to one of my meditations before, please, please, please do get yourself. Um, I'll get it set up as soon as possible. Now I know what I'm talking about. I'll get it set up as soon as possible. Now, what we must, what we must rec um, recognize here is that the mind is so powerful. Now, imagine if we use it for what it is supposed to be used for, manifesting, co-creating. Just imagine what we can bring in. Like I said, we had 144 people at this soul school. And, um, you know, we created a timeline. We created timeline shifts. We created a new level of consciousness. We had all of this stuff. Now imagine 8,000. Now imagine 50,000. Now imagine 100,000. Like, imagine what we could create. <laughs> boom, 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 like this. So share this meditation with as many people as you know. We will do it in place of Lucy Davis Live next week. Share it with as many people as you know and as you love. And I would really, really, really appreciate that, um, you know, your help sharing it. It's absolutely beautiful. So what happens when linear time collapses? Who knows, Candy? Uh, we'll sleep when we want to sleep. We'll eat when we want to eat. We will go to the toilet when we want to go to the toilet, you know, if you want to have a nap. And this is why a lot of people have started to have naps. They're like, I can't control myself. I need to rest. It's because your body is getting to the point whereby it doesn't need the linear time. There won't be breakfast, lunch and dinner. It'll be I'm going to eat when I want to eat, which is why you're noticing now a lot of people don't really want to eat. They want to juice or a lot of people are fasting more because they're getting their body ready to um, set up for what's coming. You know, what's coming is pure divinity. It's gold. It's gold. Why would we hang on to things? Why would we want to live in a space whereby we're holding ourselves back? When we are in a place of linear time collapsing, in my opinion, it means the world would have split. And then what we basically do is we'll be in an abundance. We'll be in abundance. We won't need to work I mean, obviously, we'll probably want to do our passions, but we won't need to work, which is why everybody's really struggling right now with what am I here to do? What am I supposed to be doing? Because you're not supposed to be going to work and selling your soul for a salary. You're not supposed to be doing that. It's a trap that we're in. We are in a marketing machine. And we are literally just being spun around in a cycle. Keep them in a loop, keep them in a loop. Unfortunately for them, 
there's people like myself and you guys on the planet that we're going, uh -uh, we're not doing that anymore. And I'm not talking about the truth stuff. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking consciousness. I'm talking about it does not resonate with me to do this. Yes, I need money right now. Yes, I know I need to you know, survive with the currency right now, which is money. And I know that I need to do that. But aside from that, I'm going to do what feels right for my soul. I'm going to go to places like soul school. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to get out into nature. I'm not going to be drinking alcohol. I'm going to be surrounded by people that, you know, like whatever it is that, that fires your soul up. I'm not saying the way that I live is the only way to live. I'm just saying, get in alignment with who you are, be very authentic, and you will create absolute magic. When you can come from a space of love, let me tell you, you will never have shackles on you again. This is about, and it's really weird. Do you know what? This is the third live on the bounce I've spoken about the brain, and I didn't even notice it, and I didn't even think about it till just now. I did a video called Get Out of Your Head at some point in the last three weeks. I also did one on thoughts. Every single bit of it has been about the brain. So how interesting is it that clearly my guides are showing me, and intuitively my guides are showing me, we are way too in our head still right now. And as soon as we can surrender to the heart and as soon as we can, um, you know, really step forwards, that's, that's going to be the gold for us. Now, for those of you that are like, I love food and whatever. I love food. I am a foodie. I cannot help myself. I absolutely love food. But the thing is, you know, um, I've started a fast um, and I'm going to be on that. I'm actually not going to do a long fast this time around just because I've got too many um, arrangements and too many plans. So I'm going to do another one um, over the summer when I can just be off and not have to do any work. You know, I just be like, oh, it's all good. So I'm only going to do like a week or 10 days this time. And then I'll do another one over the summer. But that's my choice. You know, I love food. And people say to me, how can you fast? I'm like, because my body requires it. Like, I have to be amazing. Like, I, I, if I'm not the best, then how am I going to help other people? Hello, Wendy Smith, my love. I've been buried in heart coherence, massive shifts. I love that. I'm going to drop you a voice note later, babe. I've got some. I've got something to chat to you about, my girl. I love you and I miss you. Um, so we're in this space of surrendering all that we know for something that we just have no clue about right now. And this is where the mind kicks in. All of us go, I'm going to cling on to my old life because at least I know what it is. I'm going to cling on to my old dis-ease in my body because at least I know what it is. I'm going to cling on to the, the fact that I can't do this because at least I know that I can't do this. Whereas we're going to have to do that at some point if we want to go into higher consciousness, into abundance, into love, into peace, into authenticity. If we can just do that and let it go, did somebody else just see a spirit walk behind me then? That was really interesting. I'm going to have to go back. Where are we? 47 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to go back. I, I just saw something go bloop across there, which is really interesting. Anyway, aside from the weird witchy woos that is going on behind me, um, I, I really do feel that what we need to be doing right now is just recognizing that these stories have kept us safe. However, we are going into a new world. And I hear all of you talking about it. Oh, I can't wait for peace and harmony, but then you're getting involved in drama. I can't wait for abundance, but you're still in the lack mindset. I wish my gifts would come online, lack mindset. Oh, I can't afford to do that, lack mindset. And this is where the shifts are required for us to level up and heal. Now, we are in massively profound healing energies right now. Like, I cannot say to you, the healing energy is absolutely wild. I am running a healing hangs um, in two days time. I'm also going to run a healing hangs at the start of April because I've been told the one in, um, in two days time is around um, inner child and teenage tantrums. Like it's the, it's the young child and the teenage tantrum that we just need to get rid of um, or at least acknowledge so that we know how to work with it. At the start of April, I'm going to be doing one on victim consciousness. I have been told it is time to slap the victim consciousness out of absolutely every being on the planet because so many people still don't recognize that they're in victim consciousness. So um, it's all going off at the moment. But whilst we are in this massively profound period of healing energy, um, it would be very, very, very in interesting and, and uh, progressive for us and expansive, that's a better word to use, um, for us to utilize these energies for that. Regarding food and cleaning, would um, would 
be the case would it be the case that people had food bug including my children body preparing for these times it could well be there's a lot of people purging at the moment but what you've got to remember is there's a lot of spraying taking place at the moment there is a lot of you know estrogen and things like that being pumped into the food chain and you know people make me laugh oh it's going into the fruits and veggies where the hell do you think your meat gets its food from like let's not be let's not be ridiculous about this like i'm tired of people being so you've got to eat meat you should only be eating meat like i'm tired of seeing it like the same from, from the vegan inside like everybody give each other a bloody rest and just let everybody do what they want to do you know i am i'm i'm tired of people that are so opinionated that they literally cannot pull their heads from their arse and recognize that every human being is bio a bio um, individual you know what works for me is not going to work for you and vice versa so let's stop projecting our stuff like i i eat plants that's my choice um i know what they do i've got an amazing farmer that i get my stuff from but you listen to your body and even though I'm a plant-based person because my blood type supports that and many other things support that, my body functions better or the rest of it, I'm not telling you to do that ever. Like, I'm not telling you to do that ever. I am very supportive of certain supplementation that gives you the essential nutrients for your bodies, but people get so hung up and they, people think that they know the answers. Nobody knows the answers other than the person with the fucking physical body. I just dropped the F-bomb. And I am so passionate about this subject. Please stop dictating to people what they should or they shouldn't do. You know, if it's alcohol and sugars and things like that, then of course, you know, it's coming from a space of care. They're not the best thing for our body, but do what works for you. You don't have to be plant-based. You don't have to be a meat eater. You do what the heck you want to do. You are your best doctor. Rant over on that subject. I've seen a few people recently get so passionate about it. And I'm like, wow, you are so judgmental. Like, rein your freaking neck in. You are judgmental. So I am saying it here. <laughs> like, literally, I'm just saying it here that that is what it is. I am. I'm tired of it. Oh, it's great that he's um, better since he's been on uh, the capsules at Audrey. I'm really happy. You know, and that goes to show, you know, Audrey's son is, you know, um, not able uh on his own and he's so much better since he's been taking a supplement of fruits and vegetables so I, I hate to break it to you but your organs to process need the nutrients from fruits and vegetables what mother nature gave us other than that if you don't want to eat it don't freaking eat it i would never tell people to do that you know but at the end of the day there are essentials that your body needs that you cannot get purely from meat alone likewise you cannot get it purely from vegetables alone so let's just have a balanced uh conversation Oh, that's amazing, Sita. I'm really, really pleased for you. Uh, it's it's great. That's the um, after the training one, right? It's uh, I can't remember what it's called. Perform. Very, very good. Yeah, I'm I'm vegetarian as well, uh, but it's very rare that I have dairy. But if I fancy it, I'll have it. It tends to be halloumi that leads me astray, ladies and gents. I'll be honest with you. But other than that, I can skip it. I'm not really bothered by it. And everybody says to me halloumi, but that's so squeaky and it's so salty. And I'm like, I don't know. There's just sometimes I just fancy a bit of halloumi. So. Um, but yeah, just coming back to what we were talking about, remember we are fueling the body. We are, we are literally allowing ourselves to process. We are allowing ourselves to go to new places. And this old mind has not actually, you know what I'm talking about though, right, Lizzie? It does squeak. Um, you know, we, we, this mind is starting to be more stilled. And this is what is hilarious when people come to um, soul school is they leave and they're like, wow, my, my mind feels different. And I'm like, yeah, because we've just brought some calm into it. I've got you breathing properly. I've got you doing really beautiful things and focusing on yourself. And, you know, although we're not in nature yet doing soul school, there will be one in nature soon, trust me. Um, but, you know, we're, we're, we're living, we're walking a path. We're walking a path where we bring our mind into calmness, okay? So I hope this has helped you today, ladies and gents. I really, really, really did. I love the fact that you're all talking about Halloumi now. <laughs> Remember, you are going to see shocks. You are going to be see trials and tribulations taking place over the coming days and weeks. Like the truth is coming out literally in our personal life, in our um, global life, in our business life. You name it, everything is going on right now. The truth has no option but to come to the surface. Like I say, I've had some conversations with people and I have asked for... Um, I've literally asked to be shown the truth and, and I'm being shown the truth. 
And I've actually had an opportunity to show the truth to a few people that was really, really, really important. I'm not saying we're going to do naturist. Oh my God, that's asking a lot of me, Martin. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm ready to get my kit off to do a soul school yet. I don't think that would be quite appropriate. You know, some of the positions you see me in. <laughs> anyway, guys, I love you to the moon and stars. For those of you at Conscious Conversations, I will see you at seven o'clock. For my Self Love Club members, I will see you at eight o'clock. Please, before you leave, hit the thumbs up button, comment, share, you know, get people to come along to the meditation on Monday. And I'm going to um, get that pop popped out as soon as possible. Share it with as many people as possible. I'm going to do it on manifestation. If you are on Facebook and um, I love you, thanks for joining. If you're on uh, YouTube, thank you for being here. Remember to hit the love heart, hit the thumbs up and let's get this show on the road. Guys, I love you to the moon and stars. <laughs> love you. Catch you soon.